Kraken. Hey guys, welcome to the official Kraken RC YouTube channel. Today we're going to be building the KV5 TT kit and we're open in the manual here. So let's get started. Page seven, bag A, block one. All right, guys, welcome into block number one of bag A. We've got our parts nicely laid out here, all deconstructed. And as far as tools go for this bag, we're gonna start with a 2.5 millimeter T-wrench along with a 3.0. And then, as always, we're using our Loctite and primer for the screws. Start by grabbing the bearing and the, the diff cup. All right, so we've got the diff cup here, and then we put it on like this. Right on like that, snap it down. I'll and take this. the out drive and slide this point in that right there. Like slide that. in place. Now flip it over. Got it flipped over now. So the next step is you want to install the O ring, but you want to put a little bit of lubrication on there. Grab the oil, the shock oil that uh, supplied with the kit, and put a little bit on your finger first and lube it up. Now Massage it, it around. Now put the o-ring inside the cup it only goes in one way there's a little channel fit it in there okay. next you got your washer slide that on top so got this washer and it goes in right here on top of it there you go that's right and now grab your bevel sun gear uh, make sure the the teeth end is facing up slide down in there make sure it nice and flush nice and flush and now don't forget the manual We'll, t we'll let you know blue Loctite is necessary here. You want to prime it and put a little Loctite on there and then screw it down. So now that we've applied the Loctite and primer, we're going to go ahead and screw this in like this. So in order to get the screw to the proper torque, you're going to grab another T-wrench and you're going to slide it in the, the opening like that. Now tighten. Want to get it. Want to get it hand tight with a little extra oomph, if that makes sense. All right, now we're onto this part right here. So now we're doing the rear cup, similar, except for there's a little bit different driver. We'll go ahead and show you that right here. What you want to do is slide the collar on from this end. It only goes on one way, so if it's not fitting on there correctly, you need to flip it around. Show them how it wouldn't go on there correctly. Flip it over. Yeah, so it doesn't, doesn't go, go in this way, so you're gonna have to make sure that it's going it's right. Like that. And does it snap in or it just kinda lays in here? It just lays in there. All right, now bearing cup. Same as last time. That's it. We flip this over and then put this in like this. There you go. Slide it in there. Climb it out. O-ring. Make sure to get some of this on here. And then we put this in here. Make sure that it's going into its little inlet. And then the washer goes on top, make sure that's flush. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this bevel sun gear on here. Uh, there's a little triangular inlet for here, so the socket has to match this one inside. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna prime this and then go ahead and put it in. All right, now that we've done block one, we're on to block two. We've got all the parts here, same tools. We've got our 2.5, our 3.0, our shock oil, our boy blue and our thread clean and prime. All right, let's start up here at the top. So this is the front. Grab the, yeah, grab the out drive. And uh, actually, let's start with the bearing. Put the bearing on there, okay. onto the ring gear. Put Put the it bearing on. right here. Right there, there you go. A little press. And now you're gonna dra grab, yeah, there you go. Slide that ring gear. Flip it upside Flip down. It upside down. We've done this part before. We're going to put the O ring yeah. on there. Put this a little lube on there. to me. Lube it or lose it. So we got this right here. We're going to go ahead and lube this O ring up right here. And you can actually see the little inlet to where this will be going. We just give it a nice little press here. And then onto this washer. Yeah, yeah. Washer. On. 
Sun Gear. Sun Gear on. I'm getting deja vu. We did this already. And then we're on to this last section of this half. We've got this. Don't forget to prime it, thread it. And then Mr. Randy, the same deal as last time. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that the torque is right. As you said, give it the extra oomph. Oomph is where it's at. All right, now on to the second portion, the rear. All right, slide the collar on. So Here. again, this only goes on one ray, correct? Yeah, so yeah. there's really only one way to do it. Now that we have this here, I'm gonna do this here, same as last time. And then this is going to slide in to here, am I right? That's right. Okay, we're gonna flip it over, teeth are now up. And then, same deal, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on to this right here. And then goes the washer, and then the sun. And then this. All right, now we got it all tight with our Loctite, and we've primed it, and we're screwing it. All right, same deal as last time. We're gonna make sure that this goes in here nicely, make it all tight, and we're good. And that does it for block number two. Let's move on to block three. All right, guys, we're in block three. We got the drive cups, we got the planet gears, and we got the diff cross pins, and we got some washers here. We're gonna go ahead and assemble the planet gears. Nate's gonna show you how to do that right now. We got, uh, we got the 500 CST silicone oil. We got our butter knife, how we like to call it, and let's go. All right, Nate, go ahead and grab your uh, cross pin there. And uh, you want the notch facing upwards. The notch. Go ahead and grab planet gear. You want the teeth facing inward. You want to put a washer on the outside. You're going to go ahead and repeat that. Okay, so we got the washer on the outside here. to make sure it doesn't fall back off. Yeah, so uh, you can kind of cradle it in your hands using uh, point your finger on one side and your ring finger on the other to keep everything from sliding off and spread apart when you drop it into the cup. Okay, so we've got this right here. We're gonna go ahead and drop it into here. Make sure that the notch is indeed facing up. You see that right here. So, and drop. It'll go in a little bit of patience and uh, it'll sit flush in there. And then what we wanna do on the other side is we want the uh, notch facing down Downwards this time. on this time. So I just wanna do the same thing, get this, the washer, rinse and repeat on the other side. And then we're gonna go ahead and drop it down with that notch facing downward, but this time we're gonna make a little cross. Make sure that sits flush. Looks perfect. And now look at this. It looks like we're all set up to do the same exact thing on this diff cup now. And again, we're gonna make sure that it's facing down and then we're just gonna slot it in here. Nice. Give it a little spin, see if there's any binding. Yeah, so if we spin this little bottom section, we can see that there is indeed no binding and we're perfect. Now we've got our completed diff cups here and we're gonna start to fill it with our 500,000 CST silicone oil. We're gonna use our trusty butter knife here and we're gonna end up taking this oil out and putting it in to this little hole right here. We're gonna make sure to fill it to the top of these sun gears right here, as indicated on your manual, but make sure under any circumstances not to get it into these threads here, otherwise the screws will be at risk of falling out. So along with the oil, we're gonna make sure we prime these threads as well, along with the screws we're using for them. And once you've finished putting the oil in here, we're gonna move on to block number four. This is where we're gonna put these gaskets on. So make sure that we align it with the threads here on each part respectively. We wanna make sure that 
we're paying attention to the bottom side of these right here because we want our part right here to match the size of the other one. So this would go with this one and then the smaller one would go with its other. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this bevel assembly right on top of here. We wanna make sure that it goes nicely and that the holes are aligned all the way through. If they are not aligned, just, just take one of your tools and you can just put down here in the thread hole and align it like that. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other part. And perfect. So now that we've got this, we're gonna go ahead and take our screws, make sure that they're primed with our Loctite and our primer, and then we're gonna go ahead and screw them right in here. We have the first screw going in, we're gonna tighten that down. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna tighten this in a cross pattern. And so we'll start here and then the next screw, once that's tight, So the next screw we're going to start uh, across in a cross pattern and then the screw after that go here and it's opposite part. You want to do this so that the bevel gear, uh, you're making sure that it's going to sit flush. If you, do, if you tighten the screws in a circular pattern, you'll get a, an uneven mount. Once we got all the screws tightened down, uh, hand tight, uh, go ahead and grab a rag or something to protect your hand. You go ahead and grab the gear to get a nice tight grip and uh, this will allow you to torque them down properly. Get it, get it nice and tight on there, all the way around in the cross pattern like we showed you here and there. And that assembly's done. So now for the second portion of this, it's basically just a rinse and repeat. So once we've got all of these nice and tight, uh, the torque is right, we have completed our diff assembly. Moving on. All right, starting off with block number five. The only thing we're gonna need is this three millimeter hex wrench as far as tools go. So well, how you wanna start, Nate, you wanna take your transmission case and we're gonna press in the bearings first. Take the bearing, drop it in, slide it down, and you wanna make sure it sits flush. Flip it over, install the other side. This one you have to push a little bit harder, both fingers, and you'll hear a little snap and then rub your, rub your finger over it, make sure that it's flat. Nice and flush. Okay, so next step is your pinion gear. The gear side goes and you slide it right in that way. Slide it in, make sure that the bearings didn't move. And uh, next slide on your drive cup which is this guy right here. Yep, right there. Now you wanna make sure the holes line up so that you can get this screw pin in. Holes line up all the way through. Get it and on your tool. We'll do primer. We'll do blue thread lock. Once we've got the primer and the Loctite on, we're gonna go ahead and screw this bad boy in here. Perfect. All right, this part's a little bit tricky, so grab your O-ring. Randy rolls on. Perfect. Here we are, block six, page nine. And the tool that we're gonna be using for this one is our 2.5 millimeter hex wrench. All right, so what we wanna do here, Nate, is we wanna take the shock tower and we're gonna mate it to the uh, housing. Go ahead and slide that on top of there, align these holes, put uh, button head screws right there. Let's cheat this one. Now slow it, get, get close. Get it right there is good. 
set yourself up with this one here. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. When tightening down the shock tower to the housing, uh, you don't wanna over tighten it because you'll split the, the plastic. You just wanna barely get them to kiss and, and that's it, don't over tighten it. All right, next we're gonna move on to the uh, bracket. Stick that bad boy in front with your flathead screws and uh, you can cheat and go electric. If you are gonna use an electric gun, you wanna set your torque settings very low so as not to strip the plastic. So now we're gonna go ahead and do this hand finishing with the T-wrench to make sure that it doesn't strip. Make sure it's nice and secure there. Here's your uh, body mount. All right guys, let's change the bit over on our cordless 2.5 driver. We wanna put the spun head screw on and slide it through the hole. Nate's going to hold the, uh, the mount. What you wanna do is you wanna take one of your tools, a small driver, you wanna slide it through the eyelet. And that's gonna help us hold it and in, in, in hold uh, in the right position. So I'm just gonna tighten, tighten, tighten. What you wanna do is you wanna hold this like that. There you go, we're tight enough. So make sure to hold it level. Repeat. And then repeat it. There you go, teamwork. Here we are, block seven. For the tools, we're gonna to be using our 3.0 hex wrench. This is our, so we got our uh, mount here. You wanna make sure the curve end slides in like so. And there's two different sides to, uh, size of a hole to mount this. You wanna make sure that the button head goes in the larger side so that the thread has something to bind on the other side. So I believe it goes in this way. Get that bad boy on there and it'll move. It's no big deal. Just barely get it this close. There you go. And you want to be a, see that's a little bit tight. I'm going to back it up just a hair. Let's see. Yep, there you go. You want some movement like an elephant trunk and you're good here we are block eight for the tools on this one we're going to be using our 3.0 and our 4.0 so let's set this uh set this up we're going to be installing one of the diff assemblies this is the front so we're going to be using it this guy here all right Nate, let's put some grease on the gears uh grab you can use your finger to apply it what you're going to want to do is take uh Get some on your finger and apply it lightly all the way around the bevel gear evenly. We'll also apply some onto the pinion gear. And this one's a little bit smaller, so we don't need as much. And just evenly spread in there. Cool. And now with this one, we're gonna lay this in here, correct? Yeah, you want to uh, be, be uh, mindful of the orientation of the bevel gear when you're installing. Uh, you want the teeth to face the teeth to the right. So to our right. It'll also show that in the manual. And seat the uh, gears together. You wanna you wanna maybe give the, the bottom a, t a little turn to make sure that they seat properly and there's no binding. And that looks that looks good. Cool. Okay guys, when you drop the uh, assembly down, you wanna make sure that you, you wanna make sure that you move the diff cup around and you move this around so that the, the, the teeth of the gears, they seat properly. Uh, you'll know, you'll spin it and it'll sound smooth once the uh, grease is on there. Nate's gonna go ahead and put the cover on. Go ahead and put it like this. It's got a few little 
snaps to go in here to make sure it's seated properly. And then we're gonna go ahead and use these screws. So we're gonna hot this guy there. And this will take you forever by hand, so recommend the gun. This is our 4.0. So you want this screw, it'll get, you're, you're close enough now where you'll use the T-wrench to do the final torque, but here's your, do your second one. Make sure that it's seated in there. Okay, you're close right there. Now you want to use the T-wrench. And you can see how there's a little gap right here. That'll, that'll close up once you finish making these screws. So this gap right here, we're looking to close, and then we know. So it's loose, you can feel it's loose, and you'll notice when it's tight, it'll, it'll, it'll you'll feel it. It's always close, and right about there is good. Same thing on the other side. It'll gradually get tighter as you go, and that's done. We got a couple button head screws remaining. That's your 3.0. Get the drill set up for Nate. You got two little, two little holes here. No real trick here. Get them close. That's tight, and you can finish them off with the T frame. You are finishing pass with the T-wrench. Make sure they're tight, but not too tight. We don't want to strip the threads. And looking good. And that's it. That's bag A completed. This is what your finished assembly should look like. And uh, so thank you guys for watching. Stick around for the next tutorial where we go over how to set up bag B. Like and subscribe. Be sure to turn the notifications on so you're aware of the next time we put out a video. See you guys next time.